Okay. I hope this is a tape. Anyhow, uh, when I was at the uh, Volkswagen Fest down at the winery, uh, a lot of things happened before that I got there. I called a week before that to Jim, the president, and uh, said I wanted to pay my dues. And uh, he said, no, you can't. Well, why not? I always paid two years ahead. He said, by what you said about the two members, uh, Mike and Cheryl, I said, well, what does, does the club have anything to say about that? That's between me and them. Well, apparently, he got the club involved with it. And I, I, I don't think the club should have had anything to do with that. That was between me and them. Uh, but anyhow, he said, we're going to have a meeting and talk about it. I said, well, whatever you want to do. I said, what are you going to do? Blackball me. And uh, he didn't say nothing. So I said, okay, well, whatever. So I was out here in the garage. I told him I was going regardless. I'll pay for my spot. He called and he said, the one spot you, you have a year yet or something. And he said, we decided that nobody's paying two years ahead, one year at a time. Well, boy, they changed everything around in this club. They want to make sure they have a hold on their members. Well, when all this started a couple years ago, that Jim was going to take over, uh, or I should say, run for president, the guy that was president wasn't bad, but he didn't do nothing. And I thought, well, this is a good thing. I know Jim. He's a good friend of mine. Uh, my brother-in-law was a state cop. His dad was a state cop. And I thought, well, he has some good morals and things, maybe. And uh, I like his girl, Pat. Me and her always got along good. And uh, probably had not always agreed upon everything, but he did some nasty things to me that he thought was funny, but I never thought they were funny, but whatever. Well, anyhow, that's here to there. Well, he called here and said, well, we voted. We're going to make put you on probation. I said, well, you don't have to. I'm not going to join. I decided I wasn't going to join. And I said, by the way, I have some stuff here I want to give you when I come down. Well, he said, you're a member for a year or something. I don't know what it was. And I said, well, I got some stuff that belongs to the club I want to give. To it. And he said, what's that? I said, well, I'll give it to you. You can do whatever. You can give it to the members. Well, when I got there, he never showed up. Uh, some other guy. And uh, he said, uh, I said, I got a free spot, and I'm paying for one other spot, and I'd like to be around Jack. Isn't Jack coming? Well, I get back there, and this other guy gets off on me and says about, I said, well, I'm a member. <coughs> Excuse me. I said, I have one spot paid for, and I want two spots. Well, they're already taken. I said, well, I thought Jack had these spots from Bug Stuff. It was a hell of a mess as usual. Nobody knew what the hell they were doing. Well, in the meantime, the whole story about this club was when Jim went in for president, I talked to him. I said, we need to do something for the members. They have a lot of money in this club, and nobody's doing anything. I said, I think, feel we should have one meal every Christmas for the members and do something for them. Well, I didn't know that they were giving money also to uh, charities. When I said, how about giving some to St. Jude's because I have a pacemaker and without that, St. Jude's, I wouldn't probably be here today. And I think that would be a good thing. I'm a member, and that's the way it is. 
So anyhow, I don't think you ever give anything to them. And who do they give to? I don't even know. Probably some outfit that Jim or somebody wants to give to. Who knows? I think you ought to give to something that it needs to be given to. Kids, even something like uh, the Shriners, they do a lot for kids. See, I'm that type of person. I think you ought to give to something like that. And Children's Hospital and all that kind of stuff. Don't have to give a ton. Just give a little. Save some money for whatever you're going to do through the year. And he said the only ones that's getting anything is the members that work. Well, that's bullshit. Some people can work. That's fine. Some people can't work. That's the way it is. I live in Pittsburgh. I can't be running back and forth. And I said, well, we we ought to keep getting more members involved. Oh, no. <laughs> that ain't going to happen. Well, see, they want to control things. And that I'm not for. I, I, I don't, this control thing and all this other stuff irritates me. It really does. And that's why I got to say one thing about Mike. He didn't want to be a club member, but his wife did, I guess, and drug him in there or whatever. I don't know. And uh, uh, <laughs> this whole organization is so screwed up. They got lawyers in there for this and that and everything else. I wouldn't even want to be a member anymore, even though they could beg me and I wouldn't want to be. But don't worry, they ain't going to beg me because I'm out and I'm going to stay out. Uh, you can't say anything against anybody because if you do, you're a bad guy. Well, guess what? There's freedom of speech in this country. And I can say what I want to say. And that's how it is. As long as it's true. And that's true. And uh, we got a guy in office right now that uh, is our president. It sucks. And I don't know who would be a good president. Either one was running, sucked. And I don't even want to get into politics. That irritates me. But anyhow, uh, I guess enough said, and uh, I'm going to race, have good time, uh, I belong to another car club, and these guys are good, they, they wanted me bad, and, I, and I'm joining, and that's the way it is. The people that belong to this club can drink wine, have parties, and go on car crews and everything else, and uh, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to do what I can do and try to be a good person, and I'm going to speak out when things ain't right. I was at Woodstock, and I know what happens. You never get 100,000 people together without being somebody being killed uh, like they did then. Over a hundred thousand people together, nobody got shot. Try it today. This world's going downhill, and I don't like the way it's going. So enough said. And I'm done with clubs. But I'll go to their things and sell stuff and talk to people like I did. I had a good time. Didn't sell much. Hand out a lot of cards. Then I found out I had the wrong uh, email address on. I had Verizon on instead of Comcast. Uh, but oh well, I had to change that around on my card thing. Talk to y'all later. Stay in touch. Give me a call. 412-384-8012. That's the house number. And I'll be glad to discuss anything with anybody. Gino at uh, Gino's Transaction Performance. I love doing transactions, and I like doing some motors. But, see Joe Cooper. He's the best motor builder around, I'll tell you. He knows what's going on in this world. He does all kinds of stuff. Good friend, and uh, I can't say enough about it. And Pete Peak, I know those guys for a hell of a long time. They're good people. Talk to you all later.